All right, you ready for the last topic tonight? Yeah. This should be pretty quick because um, we're not really a movie channel. But we watch movies sometimes. And uh, this weekend, we got pretty busy. We saw Toy Story 4. We did. You got a friend in me. <laughs> Man, I heard that 50,000 times playing Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> um, so yeah, Toy Story 4. Uh, you pick up... Uh, you start playing... You're not playing, sorry, I was thinking Kingdom Hearts. No, you start watching, and it's Woody! Hey! Uh, howdy, howdy, howdy. I wish Buzz was in it more. I miss Buzz. I like him. Overall, what's your feeling on this movie? Uh, well, f- for one thing, it wasn't the worst movie I saw mm. last, last week. I saw... Talk about that in a second. Talk about that one in a second. Um, it was... It, it was a reminder to me that while I'm I'm told that Pixar movies are supposed to be um, movies for everyone, like they're supposed to be something that the adults can get into as well as the children, I definitely felt this one was for kids. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. I, I did not feel like it was targeted towards me at all. <laughs> Very... F- very little of the humor really hit me except for um, probably Key and Peele's stuff and maybe the, the the guy on the motorcycle. Guy on the motorcycle. Oh, uh, Duke. Duke. Um, I want to say Nukem, but I know that's not it. Duke. No. Nope. Duke, um, Duke McCain. He's... Duke Kaboom. Duke Kaboom. Thanks, JD. JD with the same. Yeah, I think some of those characters were fun. To, I think the message of the movie, um, you know, is what it is. I guess I don't want to spoil it. We just had a big old thing on spoilers. Uh-huh. Um, I'm hoping that means it's the end of the series. So I think it's the end of... Blah. Yeah. <laughs> <Blah. laughs> I'm just gonna stop there. Um, no, it. Okay. Toy Story one, two, and three, great movies. Toy Story four, it kind of felt like a Christmas special, like. Yeah, like all the characters kind of rotated. They had a little moment in the spotlight. Uh huh. But it focused on just one character, and it it didn't. It was like Frozen does Christmas, or Trolls does Dance Off. Like it just yes. it was like a it was like a spinoff of Toy Story. Yeah. So it it wasn't terrible. It was good. It it held up to what uh, animation wise and sound and audio and voice acting and plot wise it held Dude, up you know to... what's funny i saw i saw toy story one like a weekend ago maybe two weekends ago mm-hmm. if you put them side by side like holy shit the animation's come a long way really oh yeah it's night and day they look so huh. much better now it's it shocked me because toy story was like the big revolutionized revolutionizing movie uh, but yeah, keep, yeah. Keep well, going. well, we have talked about like uh, graphically, everything's improved a lot. Um, but anyways, the it uh it fulfilled the Toy Story need, but it wasn't a um it wasn't like a revolutionary like Toy Story three. The ending of that, it was like, wow, okay, good job. Like you guys did a great job telling this story and like having meaning and purpose behind it. This one, it had meaning and purpose, but it was kind of more of like a halfway through the movie, you got it. Like, yeah. It was, like, it was right. beating you over the head the entire time. Yeah. Like halfway through the movie, I was like, okay, I, f- I actually feel that one. Like I felt the message has been conveyed, received, digested, and I'm pooping it out now. I'm halfway through the movie. Yeah. <laughs> like it was, I was, I was thinking about what I would think about it in 24 hours 
Like after you see something or after you experience something, like the thought process you have about it the next day is what I was having in the middle of the movie. That's that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about, well, what am I going to remember about this movie? What stood out to me in this movie? Oh, wait, it's not over yet. I can't think about that yet. <laughs> I would so. argue Keen Peel. That stands out. Not as much as you might think, but... It stood out as annoying to me. You thought they were annoying? I thought they were kind of annoying too. Okay. I I kind of agree with you on that. Yeah. They they got on my nerves. They're funny. It was it was them turned up but for children. Yes. So it's what you'd expect from them, but yeah, like cranked up but in a weird kind of kitty way. Which uh, again, I I'm just like I should like it because I like them, but I didn't. I, I feel like it's not for me anymore. I feel like this is for the kids, <laughs> and I was just kind of left behind. Have you heard about this? Is really, br- I'll briefly cover this. There's like a little bit of talk about a conspiracy with uh, Sporky. No, and he's like a a transgender toy. Toy, yeah. In the in one of the movie cutouts at the theater. He's like holding a fork in one hand and a spoon in the other. And he's obviously the the in between. And then if you look at his little feet, he's got rainbows painted on his feet. Huh. So like oh he's it's like subliminal, like <laughs> trying to get to the trying to get your children indoctrinated. I don't know. I thought that was weird. It's like who cares? But whatever. <laughs> yeah, it is one of those like who cares <laughs> things, but at the same time it's like someone did like you know those hidden messages that like animators and people put into their content, like the secret yeah. levels and whatnot, the Easter eggs. Yeah, it's like it's one of those Easter eggs where that guy's like, "I got away with it." <laughs> yeah, and now it, he's gonna be like, "Now everyone applaud me for my uh, inclusion." Uh huh. Yeah. I don't know. It, the the video that I saw was like, "Let's boycott this movie," and I was like, "I mean." It, it's kind of silly, but I don't know if it's bad. It's just there. <laughs> I would much rather the subtlety of those kinds of comments uh, rather than anything being beaten over my head. Like if it's if they want to put in there like donuts, they want to put donuts in the movie, and they're like, oh, because I put donuts in here because uh, Walt Disney loved donuts. Mr. Disney loved donuts yeah. so much. I put donuts in the thing. It's like cool, but you don't have someone in the in the movie going, "Walt Disney loved donuts. Eat more donuts." Yeah. <laughs> and then, then he's so in the commentary that. being like, "I put this in there because Walt Disney exactly. likes donuts." Yeah. Yeah, like subtlety goes a long ways, guys. Like just you don't have to be the loudest voice in the room to to for you to f- matter just just chill so what what do you think for toy story what would you say some like uh, recommending it or how would you do it it got me a buzz 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 light year away <laughs> <laughs> that's a great one um yeah i don't know i guess i would recommend it if you have kids and you want to watch it if you're an adult, beat it's off a red or something. Box. Yeah, it's it's definitely a red box. Play video games while you listen to it. Yeah, yeah. Peek up when things get exciting. Um, Shit, you know what? Netflix it. <laughs> Netflix it. You'll when probably it finally... have to Disney, whatever it. Oh with yes, their, you will. Streaming service. Um, I, it's not the worst movie I saw though because I also saw Men in Black International and oh my god. 